Who is the shortest running chancellor in British history? As I write, we see Kvasi Kvarteng leaving to spend more time with his family after only 38 days in the job. But regretfully, he won't be going to where he should be going, that is to say the Dole office, as he's still a member of Parliament. Of all the chancellors, that is to say finance ministers, three of the all-time worst performers were in the current government. Sajid Yavid lasted only 204 days. Nadim Savari lasted only 66 days and Kvasi has beaten both of them. However, don't start celebrating just yet as some short-term chancellors who lasted less than 14 months include Harold Macmillan, Hugh Gateskill and Stanley Baldwin and their political careers flourished and they went on to higher things. So be warned. Ian MacLeod became Chancellor of the Exchequer on the 20th of June 1970, two days after the Conservative Party won the general election. MacLeod was appointed Chancellor of the Exchequer by the new Prime Minister, Edward Heath, which might not have come as a surprise as he'd been the Shadow Chancellor previously. In this picture, we can see Ian campaigning in the 1970 election. On the 7th of July 1970, he made a speech on the economy in the House of Commons before being rushed to hospital with what was misdiagnosed as appendicitis, but in fact was a pelvic diverticulum. That is to say, an outpouching of a hollow structure in the body. He was discharged on the 18th of July 1970. But at 22.30 on the 20th of July 1970, whilst at his official residence at 11 Downing Street in London, he suffered a heart attack and died at 23.35. He thus became the shortest running British finance minister in history. I need, of course, to put this into context and to tell you that I'm doing this on the 15th of October 2022 and the way things are going in British politics, I wouldn't be surprised if his record is soon broken. I also think I might have to update my video on the shortest ever running Prime Minister in British history. Perhaps I should start writing the text to that video right now. Thanks for listening. I don't do that much on British politics and British political history, but from time to time, I will do something like this. So if you're interested, then please do subscribe. What I normally do is writing about the Nazi and communist periods, but from time to time, it's nice to do something different. Thanks for listening.